Peace family, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Monte, I'm the host of this channel. Uh, basically guys, we're delivering some information today dealing with black seed oil, inflammation, immunity, also dealing with the fasting and how that can help with the uh, inflammation, how it helps to abuse, uh, uh, improve the immune system, boost up your body's ability to fight off those things as such as the common cold, etc. without having to really take any of those over-the-counter medications which have a lot of uh, side effects. Many of you are not aware of that or that you basically you minimize the importance of trying to avoid the side effects of using the over-the-counter meds. Now, if you have to use over-the-counter meds, I'm not telling you not to, but know that it does impact your body's natural ability to do the things that it needs to do. Let's talk about that black seed oil today. Today, I'm going to show you this bottle right here. Again, I got this from Whole Foods. It cost me around $31. I'm pretty sure that you can find this at a health food store, and the price would be probably commensurate to what it is that I paid for at, uh, at Whole Foods for it, depending on your location, guys, because we know prices vary depending on your locations in the country or out of the country. So let's deal with, the, with immunity and how important it is to build the immune system within the body. Let's first talk about those simple things that you can do that nullify the body's ability to heal itself. So simply by consuming or taking a lot of those over-the-counter meds for the smallest of things, aches, pains, slight migraine or slight headaches, not necessarily migraines, all these type of things, although the medication may help to alleviate some of that pain, again, it has a side effect and more than likely you're compromising your immune system, meaning you're taking away from the body's ability to heal its own self. If you provide the body with natural substance that work with the immune system, and doesn't bypass the immune system in order to get straight to the uh, source of pain for a cover up of that pain, not really to alleviate, not really to find and cure, cure the pain, but it covers and masks the pain, if you understand what I'm saying. So with the black seed oil, basically you're consuming something that has an great impact on the immune system. You're consuming something that helps to fight inflammation. Again, inflammation is one of the leading causes to all diseases. And we're constantly putting our body into uh, an inflammatory state by simply consuming certain foods, simply uh, drinking certain drinks, having an idea that for those of us who do drink wine like myself, that wine is somehow a uh, healthy for the heart. This is dead wrong. They've misguided us once again. Anything that causes inflammation in the body from a foreign source is not healthy for the heart or the body. And again, I drink wine, so I'm not delusional when it comes to what it is that I'm doing when I'm drinking that wine. But many of us have been led to believe that wine somehow uh, is heart healthy. If you only drink one glass for the woman, two glass for the man. They have misguided us continuously and they're very educated guys. They're very, very educated and this really makes no sense. But this has been the uh, process uh, about which we've been conditioned to believe certain things that have no base. And that makes no sense once you understand how nature works. So when you're dealing with inflammation, you want to be able to keep those levels low. And our ability to do that is based on what it is that we're consuming, uh, whether it be food or drink, and how we are preparing our food also are we consuming or are we taking medications? Are we doing things over the counter with medications that are ill affecting the inflammation within our body and nullify, nullifying our body's ability to heal itself by compromising the cell's ability to do the work that they need to do? 
Remember, short-term inflammation in the body is not a bad thing as, as far as the body's trying to heal itself. The body causes inflammation when it goes to attack whatever it is that is considered from an OA injury that we may uh, encounter. So what we want to do is allow our body to do that on its own by feeding the body the foods and the drink water particularly, but you have teas and other drinks that can help feed the body the nutrients, the minerals, and the vitamins that it needs in order to work properly at the cellular level. So in that regard, you want to always consider what it is that you're consuming and understand that the immune system is also boosted by the fact of fasting. If you engage in fasting, meaning not consuming any food, anything with any type of calories that especially that is sh that contains sugar, then you're going to give your body a chance to metabolize the food, assimilate the food to its proper places and to use that extra time that you are fasting to increase the immune system. And this is a big thing, guys. You really want to try to increase your body's own immunity absent of outside sources such as medication. Now, you can engage in herbal help and those things such as the black seed oil that I just showed you those things are natural. They've been given to us. They've been, again, with the oil, it has been basically, it's a product. So, of course, it's been modified, but it's been modified in a way that it's not heated. Anytime that you're heating things to change the consistency of it, then you're degrading it. With the black seed oil, they use what they call cold press, and this allows it to be... Uh, Alter in a way to produce the oil without taking away from the benefit of its uh, original state. So this is something that is very important, guys. Something that you definitely want to understand. And again, fasting goes a long way in helping to increase the body's immune system. The body has an unbelievable immune system when it is fed its proper nutrition, when it is allowed to operate, when the metabolism of the body is allowed to operate without being overloaded from us consuming foods all day. Again, natural processes take place when you're fasting, such as autophagy, autophagy, some people call it autophagy. These things are highly beneficial to the body's uh, maintenance, to the body's sustenance of health, and to the body's ability to heal itself. So these things are very, very important. Again, don't just follow the herd and go blind into believing what it is that we've been taught by those who have attained degrees. They, again, work against nature more than they do with nature because they somehow believe that there are that their intelligence supersedes nature. If they utilize the amount of uh, education and information that they have garnered and that they have mastered and made sure that it worked with nature, in harmony with nature, we wouldn't have the epidemics that we have when it comes to disease, to illness, to suffering in this country and throughout the world. But specifically speaking, this country with its high technological uh, expertise, we are some of the most sick people in the entire world. And we're staying alive because we have medicines that are slowing the death process. So we're alive, but we're dying a slow death, a quicker death than we would die if we engage in natural processes. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you subscribe. If not, 
share the channel if you do subscribe leave me your comments have a beautiful day peace and love family